Well, hi guys. This is my method for erasing hard drives in preparation to sell them or use them in another build or give them away. Um, what I normally do is click my computer, manage, go to disk management here in, in computer management and go ahead and just right click the drive, click format and uncheck the perform a quick format box. That is the most important thing you need to get out of this video. That needs to be unchecked. If you do it with a command line, you need to not do a quick format. So that's the most important thing. Um, also, you can do it several times. You can do it maybe three to six times. It may be more if you're uh, really worried. Uh, if you're even more worried, you can alternate file systems. You can format it NTFS, then format it FAT32, then format it some other file system, then go back to NTFS again. So you know what I mean. You can alternate file systems. So if you do it multiple times, alternate file systems, uh, you're going to be covered, guys. You know, 99 point something percent of the time you are going to be covered. I know there are utilities out there that claim they secure arrays and they write zeros and ones and they do several passes and, and on and on, but there are also programs, utilities and services that claim they can still access that data. So the only way to be completely safe is to take the hard drive apart and crush it to death with a sledgehammer you know that that's the only way you're going to be a hundred percent safe and I think this is close enough being 99.5 percent safe and you know the bottom line is is whoever's getting your hard drive next is not going to take it and spend hundreds and potentially thousands of dollars trying to uncover an old tax return, a social security number, bank numbers, or God forbid they try to uncover that you've been looking at naked women on the internet. It's just not going to happen, guys. It's, it's too hard, it's too expensive to recover the data after you've done this several times. And if you alternate file systems, it's even harder. So people are not going to do it. You're going to be safe. Um, and that, that's my method. Uh, I believe if you do want to alternate file systems, you're going to have to use um, command line, and that's a whole separate video. Maybe I can do a video on that um, if anybody really wants to know, but this is what I would do. I just go into computer management, find the disk. You'll have to have it connected to one of your SATA ports, and like I say, just go ahead and right click, format, uncheck the box, and click OK. It'll take hours, depending on the size of the disk and how much data is on there, but it's probably worth it to do at least a couple times, get a couple passes through it. If you think you have time and you're worried, do two or three more passes, and uh, you'll be good to go. So that's my method. If anybody has any uh, other views, uh, or anything to say, please leave a comment. Love to hear from you as always. And you guys have a great day.